In 2006, there was a young, hungry, and dynamic dual threat quarterback out of Miami, Florida. In the span of 14 years, this generational athlete went from being an unranked high school prospect with a true underdog story to completely self-destructing his entire future. The roller coaster ride that Antonio Brown has been on the past 14 years is currently overshadowed by his recent ridiculous behavior. While it's impossible to justify AB's actions over the past several months, his unexplained background at least gives us a better understanding of why we're witnessing this monumental collapse. And the more I read on AB's background, the more everything starts to make a little more sense. So today, I'm going to be going over the evolution of Antonio Brown from his childhood until today, and how the foundation for his erratic behavior was created. I can't wait to be free. Many of you probably already finished up the new Netflix documentary on Aaron Hernandez, which goes into greater detail about his rough childhood. I'm not trying to compare AB to Aaron Hernandez as a person, but when you compare the circumstances of their childhood, the similarities are glaring. Back in 2006, the Arena Football League announced a ranking of the 20 best players in the history of their league. Sitting at number one was wide receiver, touchdown Eddie Brown. He knew that he couldn't be stopped, and everybody that covered him knew that he couldn't be stopped. Antonio Brown's father was the most unstoppable player to ever play arena football. While this has played a major part in AB's natural football talent, it also came with a price. His father was more focused on his own career rather than help raise his son. At 16 years old, Antonio was already without a home. His mother was in a new marriage and Antonio would constantly fight with his stepfather and mother in their small apartment. So instead of trying to fix the issues with her son, Antonio's mother kicked him out of the house during his junior year of high school. He spent the next couple of years sleeping in cars, friends couches, and cheap motels. His unstructured life led him to having poor grades while not receiving any sort of guidance from a parent figure. And even though he was a star on the field, he was a zero star high school prospect. As a 5 foot 10, 160 pound quarterback, while playing in one of the most competitive states in the country, it was easy for him to be overlooked by colleges. AB ended up committing to Alcorn State University, a small D1 in Mississippi. But right when he arrived, they told him he was academically ineligible to play after failing to meet certain requirements. So Antonio hopped on a 19 hour bus ride the very next day to arrive at the prep school, North Carolina Tech. The young and hungry AB used this year to become academically eligible to attend a D1 school. Florida International University reached out to AB and offered him a scholarship to transition to wide receiver. But upon his arrival at FIU, here came another issue. Antonio was involved in an altercation with the campus police and ended up running away from them in the process. The following day, they revoked his scholarship and school officials told him, quote, we're gonna say you were never here. This situation was more of an example of being in the wrong place at the wrong time since the altercation stemmed from one of his teammates and not him. All he really had to do was talk with them and claim he was innocent. So running away probably wasn't the best idea. AB went back to Miami with no support from his family. At this point, he was beginning to wonder if he'd ever even play football again. But all of these obstacles he went through following high school all proved to work out in his favor. Zach Azani, who was the wide receiver coach of Central Michigan University at the time, had recruited Antonio out of high school and reached out to him after finding out about his circumstances. AB suddenly felt like he earned a new life. He went on to become the all-time receptions leader at Central Michigan and earned every bit of success he had on the field. His work ethic is pretty much second to none. He had that certain kind of fire in his eye that you really can't put a finger on, but you know something is in there. AB was in the midst of putting together a true underdog story. His desire to be great came from all the doubt he received throughout his college years. Because of scouts being afraid of his mental makeup and his new transition to wide receiver, he slipped all the way down to the sixth round of the draft. The next several years, he made his case as the best receiver of his generation. From 2013 to 2018, he had the best six-year stretch of any receiver ever, setting records for receptions and yards in a six-year span. 
Something has to be said for his legendary success at the start of his career. After being an unranked high school prospect, attending four different colleges in one year, and walking on to a mid-major D1 school, AB found himself at the pinnacle of NFL stardom. But when professional athletes become the gold standard in their league, their true character begins to show. When a young player is trying to prove themselves, it's much easier for them to stay motivated and have the desire to become a star in the league. When they reach that celebrity type of stardom after all the years of hard work, it'd be much easier to feel accomplished and start to lose that hunger that made them into who they were. AB has gotten to the point where he feels so untouchable that the potential consequences of his actions don't exist in his mind. After recently being charged with burglary and battery involving a truck driver from a moving company who was hired by AB, he's officially hit an all-time low. Not to mention the domestic violence allegations and countless issues he's had with his former organizations that gave him a chance to live his dream. Despite everything that's happened with AB, call me crazy, but I don't think it's impossible for him to return to the NFL. It would definitely take at least a couple of years for him to clean up his act and prove to everyone that he wouldn't be a distraction and can display the proper professionalism to suit up in the NFL. It does seem like a long shot right now, but keep tabs on AB the next couple years. If people like Michael Vick and Kareem Hunt were given a second chance, it's not out of the question. It would make for one of the biggest stories and media events that we've seen in the history of sports. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.